Hello gamers and welcome back to another Hypixel Scout Block video. Last time I upgraded all of my farming tools to cultivate a nine. But before that, I upgraded my armor and got a better weapon so that I can easily do floor seven, which is exactly what I've been doing. And now I am five floor seven completions away from getting the first collection award. And I'm also nearly Kata 29 and Burst 28. Both of those are like two levels higher than last time. But now that I can comfortably do floor seven, I think it's time that I try the master mode. Before I embarrass myself, I'm gonna get that collection award first. Since I have no friends, I'm still relying on Party Finder, but because I have a red name now, I get all sorts of sweats in my parties. Since the last time I played Dungeons, they actually added new rooms, and uh, I don't know any secrets. What the? Okay. I forgot how to play the game. Anyhow, since last time that I played Dungeons, they actually added new rooms. Uh, one of them is the one I am in right now. And Bad Lion added Secret Finder mod. So I don't really have to learn secrets anymore. I can just follow the waypoints. I just realized this might be the fastest run I've ever had. All right, time to go here. Also, if you're in a sweaty party like I am right now, uh, you can split the terminals between each other. And it's there. S plus, as expected. I mean, I did have a Kata 50 player on the party. I swear, I don't normally get carried this hard. Second run is also an S plus. Third run is also an S plus, and once again, I get no profit. Oh, never mind, I get 100k profit. Worth it. Oh, I spawned a golden jerry. Let's go, that's like one mil or so. I actually don't remember how much they cost. Oh God, not this room. At least I have the secret finder now, and I can just do this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, a rare treasure talisman. Okay, we, we take those. It's time for the boss fight. I feel like I'm just here, you know? They don't really need me, but I'm just there. Uh, anyways, the fourth run is now complete and... Oh my god, what? <laughs> what? Okay, we take those. Thank you. And this time it was not with an overpowered Kata 50 player, it was just a random party. Unfortunately, I don't get crazy profits again, but at least I get 100k. Alright, that concludes 50 runs in floor 7. Which in turn means I can get my first collection reward. I'm honestly not sure how much this is worth. 2 mil! That's actually a lot of coins. Anyways, now it's time to sell everything I got from those runs, including the weather chestplate. And that's the last one. And I also set up buy orders for the jerry boxes that I got. But while everything is selling, there is one more thing I need to do before I attempt master mode. It's time I get a real bow. I know everyone has been using a juju short bow for a while, but I have not touched Enderman Slayer at all. I'm literally level zero. And to use the Juju Shortbow, I need to be at least Enderman Slayer 3. But before I get to grinding the Enderman Slayer, if you watched my last video, you might have noticed something. I'm kind of broke, which is not what I ended my last video on. Last time, I ended the video with over 200 million coins. Well, 18 million coins of that was not even mine. It was just giveaway money I was holding on to. But where did the rest go? Well, a little accident happened. That's right, I'm so smart that I died with over 200 million coins and lost half of that. I wanna cry myself to sleep. But thanks to that very epic wither chest light I got earlier, I will hopefully be able to get Enderman 3 and afford a Juju shortbow. And even if that's not enough, it's no big deal. It's true that I sold all of my crops last time, but that's not the only money source I have. I also have these minions, and they have been working around the clock for a while. I have over nine double chests 
of enchanted clay. Like, almost every single chest here is full of this stuff. And an extra two and a half double chests of enchanted snow. I have over three stacks of enchanted diamond blocks. Each one is worth 13.1 million coins. So yeah, even though I am a complete idiot who lost over 100 million coins to dying, I have quite a lot of coins still. I didn't buy a Necron helmet because I was just going to use a golden head of whatever floor I was playing. Now that I am outside of dungeons, I don't really have a helmet. Why is this guy? No, please, leave me alone. What, what? I can't one-shot it? I mean, it does have... Wait, this thing has Bruh. eight... What? Huh? Anyways, because I don't really have a helmet, I'm just gonna use my old superior helmet. Uh, it has the Amogus skin. Very, very sus. Can't believe I just said that. Please don't unsubscribe. Anyways, let me just call Maddox and start my first Enderman Slayer ever. This is a tier one, so it's gonna be a good chest. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Okay, that doesn't really do a lot of damage. Okay, these guys don't really do a lot of damage, but they do have quite a lot of HP. I am using my Livid Dagger because that's like my best weapon, but my combat level is pretty low, so that's why I don't really do that much damage. All right, one more kill before the boss spawns. All right, let's see how this is. All right, so I have to hit it 15 times before I can actually damage it. That's pretty cringe. Wait, that's all? Really? I mean, it's just the tier one, so it's bound to be easy. What about the tier two? Oh, this is the 8 million one. This was a mistake. I'm sorry. Please don't kill me. No. Bruh, it kills me like three hits. No, please. He just comes and kills it in one hit. Why? Oh, why did I hit another one? You know what? Just kill me, please. Thank you. All right, this is the last guy I need to spawn the tier two void blue. Let's see how this guy is. Right, 30 times. Thankfully, I do have a limit dagger, so, okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I was saying, thankfully, I do have a livid dagger, so I have 100% attack speed. So that shouldn't be too hard, right? Yeah, I was wrong. All right, I'm gonna do one more tier one, just so that I unlock level one, and maybe I get a special weapon or something. I don't really remember how slayers work. I knew this slayer was hard, but I didn't know that tier two would be too hard for me, and like, Nearly full Necron armor. I probably should get a Necron helmet, to be fair. The difference between tier one and two, like, that should be illegal. Tier one is a joke! Look at that, it's dead! I got plus one permanent heart from that. Thank you, Hypixel. Very cool. But most importantly, I unlock the Void Walker Katana. It does plus 100% damage to Enderman. I'm honestly not sure if this is better than my Livid Dagger, but I'm going to try. Alright, that's 27k, that is actually nothing, never mind. I'm better off using my Livid Dagger then. Alright, before I try the tier 2 again, I'm actually gonna buy the Necron Helmet. I don't really need a 5-star Necron Helmet, but might as well. I could need it in the future, so I'm just gonna buy this one. Alright, now that I have a full set of Necron Armor, how much damage do I do? The exact same. Cool. I just wasted 22 million coins. I'm happy. I love this game. Even though now I have a full set of Necron armor, my damage is basically the same. So I'm not even gonna bother trying out the tier 2. Instead, I'm just gonna do more tier 1s until I get Enderman Slayer level 2. Oh my god, I just accidentally started a Revenant horror quest. Again? 
What's wrong with my muscle memory? I don't want to do Revenant Horrors. Please, stop wasting my coins. Alright, that was the last boss. Oh no, it's 250 XP for level 3. You know what, I'll give it one more try. And if I fail, then I'm just gonna stick with tier 1s. Right, this camera is just destroying my tier 2 boss. Honestly, I don't mind. You know what, that was a win-win situation. They got the XP they wanted for their quest. And I get 25 Slayer XP. I'll take it. That thing had 15 million HP and did 5,000 damage per second. Wait, aren't glyphs the beacon things that kill you instantly if you don't stand next to them? All right, I probably should enable this stuff then. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I'm just gonna do another tier two. Uh, I'll try to 1v1 it this time. Oh, bop, 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 almost hit that by mistake. No, no, please, no. Oh God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this thing. I don't care. Okay, maybe not. All right, it's spawning. Why do I get a golden cherry at the moment this thing spawns? Wait, it's not like melting me anymore. What changed? What? Was I just scared for nothing? Also, I'm not gonna miss this golden cherry. Nah, I'm gonna get that. That's 800k, come here. Death. Okay, it's doing the beacon thing. Where is it? All right. did it! I, I beat a tier 2 by myself. Uh, I'm not too bad at the game. But if tier 2 was that difficult, there is no way I'm going to try tier 3. That's just going to delete me. I need 170 XP to level up, which is around 8 tier 2 bosses. So I'll just do those real quick and then get a Juju Shortbow. Alright, this is the last boss. They're actually pretty easy once you know how they work. I'm honestly surprised they did that much damage in the first time. Ah, uh, those beacons are pretty annoying, to be honest. And it's dead. Boom. Now, I can use a Juju Shortbow. What is this thing? Ability Soul Word. Become invulnerable for five seconds? That's OP! But you can't deal damage, how's your damage? Okay, never mind. That's not so OP. And then the specialized weapon, the Void Edge Katana. I might actually craft this if I get into the Enderman Slayer. All right. <laughs> now that I can use the Juju Shortbow, time to check out how much it costs. Five starred, recombobulated, all the good stuff. 29 million. A five starred one with like almost every single enchant there is goes for 32.5 million coins. So clearly, I cannot afford this. Which means it's time to sell all of my clay. I've been waiting to do this for so long. First of all though, let me check if it's better to sell it to NPC shop or to the bazaar. So at bazaar, it's 30K and here it's, that's 1K difference per stack. And I have quite a lot of stacks. And that's the last one. I lost around 750k by selling it to Bazaar instead of NPC shop in total. But honestly, I don't mind. That saved me a lot of time. I'm also going to sell my snow blocks actually for 1.3 mil. So slightly higher than the clay. All right, I made like 30 million coins from selling everything. And of course I still have my diamond blocks. I'm not going to sell this stuff, but just out of curiosity, how much is this? Nearly 39.6 million coins. So yeah, if I ever need coins, I can always just open this chest and sell these diamonds. Anyways, now it's time to buy the bow. I don't really know what's a good one. I have 49 million coins and this one looks maxed to my untrained eyes. It has Storm 5, 5 star, recombobulated, hot potato books, and the spiritual reforge. I'll see if I can find a cheaper one because 41 million is quite a lot. I can't really find a bow that's as good as this one and the cheaper ones, so I'm just gonna buy it. 41 million coins, 
don't mind if I do. Okay. I don't really know if I overpaid or not. If I did, then uh, please don't bully me. Now that I finally have the bow, it's time to finally try out Master Mode. I did not expect these to be this expensive. Doesn't even have uh, potato books or the ancient reforge. And I just found one that has exactly those things for slightly more coins, so I'm gonna get it. Since I bought the golden bonzo head, do you probably know what that means? I'm gonna start in floor one because I don't want to skip any of these floors. What? Th this is just, just this is just a flawless party. Don't worry about it. Wait, is this actually just like a normal floor one? Am I just an idiot? No, it says M1. Why are these mobs so weak? I expected more high pixel. Don't let me down like this. Okay, secret finder is way too much for me. I have been scammed, dude. I expected this to be harder than floor seven. That's why I went ahead and got the juju bow and all that stuff. No, it's just like good old floor one and I'm gonna die to a trap. I survived. Well, time to kill. Oh god, it has 200 mil. Okay. Wait, Necron has one bill. Why am I scared? That's like one fifth of Necron's health. Like, bruh. Bruh. What? I should probably use the bow. Oh, it's... Okay. Bruh. Well, this was easy. Wait, let me see how much XP I got from that, actually. Wow! Basically the same as floor 7! But that was like 1 billion times easier! Alright, they have a decent amount of health in here. And they do a lot of damage! Alright, since I don't really know this room, I'm gonna use the secret thing again, even though it's overwhelming for me. The chest right here that I would have completely missed. Death. Okay, so he has 375. Uh, million HP. I don't really remember how this boss fight works, to be honest. I know there is a priest somewhere in there. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly just completely useless. Okay, I'm, I'm so useless. I'm more XP than floor 7. Okay, that's fair. They have a lot of HP though, like actually. Uh, what? How? Skeletons do a, a lot of damage. No, please don't kill me. Did I just do 4 million HP with my bow? What? What? Huh? What is, what is my damage? It's, it's kind of slow, don't get me wrong, but... Come on! I, I'm just bad, honestly. I feel bad. 600 million HP, slightly over half of what Necron has, but probably does more damage. I'm just getting carried, dude. I feel bad. Okay, that's already dead. Maybe if I get a golden head for this floor, I might die less. But for now, I'm not even gonna get close to M3. It's, it's way too difficult for me. I should probably get a higher Kata level and Burst level before I attempt this again. And probably my combat as well, it's pretty low. Master mode is both easier and harder than I thought. Floor 1 was super easy and it gave the same amount of XP as Floor 7. That's insane! Second floor was definitely harder than Floor 1, but... It also gave more XP than floor 7. And the last floor that I tried was floor 3. I was completely useless. It was way too hard. And I also finally did the Enderman Slayer. I wanted to do that for a while now. Anyways, thank you so much for watching gamers and thank you to my channel members. And I'll see you later. Peace.